past six and uh, hopefully a nice and sunny day outside uh, we're gonna go and visit Wapping Wharf in Bristol's Harbour I'm sure this is coming to pick me up in about an hour so I have one hour to get ready get dressed get all the gear make a coffee and have some food <clears throat> I am not a morning person. And there she is, on the other side. You ready? Oh, as ready as I can be. There she is. Yeah, there I am. We haven't kissed in a week, and he's not even kissing me. I was over encumbered. I was overburdened. Oh, yes. oh. your cold nose. <laughs> your wet nose. <laughs> like he has not. <laughs> also, you look like a, a nice little pretty boy now. Why? <laughs> My lip gloss. Oh, crying out loud. Really? <laughs> this is the other way, alright. And it's, it's working just as fine. Because that's the place you're working. The only reason I'm going to be able to pay this is just, you know, behind this, in case we, you, you can't always have, like, if you have, like, a nice death on you. Um, it's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 it's okay. I can sit and uh, listen to you all day, but, you know, I, I, I know you could go in the monologue for a very, very long time. Harut, we are on our way to Wapping Wharf, which is in Bristol Harbour. It used to be an area related to shipping. It was a dock and they turned it into a, a fancy new development with um, fancy looking, well fancy more like quirky looking restaurants, cafes. In converted shipment containers. Yeah, in converted shipment containers. How much is it? Obtaining network connection. Validation in progress. Settlement in progress. This is a handsome man. Um, I was just about to wipe it and I realised it's fluffy skin. What? Fluffy skin? This is a slice. Printing receipt. Okay. If you come to Rock and Wolf, there's a little car park and these are prices, I don't know how much you can see. Not a lot, probably. Probably not. <laughs> but uh, for three hours, it's only three four. Which in Bristol is cheap. These are the places you can go to here. Cherries went there on uh, what was the occasion? Uh, it was meeting some friends, some old work colleagues. The meal at Gambus was really tasty. Very pricey, but I would say it's worth it if you like fine dining and good quality food. Um, because it's a tapas bar, you kind of need small little dishes to kind of make it worth it. My sister's and my brother-in-law's favorite shop ever, Batter Food which is an organic grocery store. Mainly, I think they have their stores mainly in Bristol, but yeah, organic, it's in the name, better. This sure is my girlfriend trying to not to freeze to death. How are you, Sherry's? It's cold. So we tried to go to Mokoko, 
and it was utter failure because we thought getting here early in the morning meant we could actually sit down and get a space and as soon as we arrived it was completely busy, all the tables were, I mean to be fair it's a, it's a small place so there were about a handful. Not just then, but by the, time, by the time we got there, it was like 20 past nine. So they had a big open for like 20 minutes, which, yeah, it was a failure. But instead, we found this absolute little jam of a cafe, uh, literally half a minute walk from Mogoko, uh, just on the seaside, uh, seaside, on the water, water side. And it's, uh, it's, it was fairly quiet. Coffee looks amazing. And uh, you see. I'm, I'm not gonna put sugar in it first. I, I want to taste without sugar. So, so Pete does this thing, he likes to try his coffee first without sugar to see if the coffee is actually a good coffee. Yeah. I mean, for me, it's just a bit extra. No, no, it's, it's not true because you know that, that the coffee is really good if you don't need sugar in it. And it still tastes nice. It is also an easy winder. Mm. This is good. Yeah. Same result. It's a very, very cold Saturday and um, just on the harbour front at the moment. It's not that busy. I think a lot of people are just... Staying home. Staying home. <laughs> Staying home because it's too cold. Back in lockdown days, me and Pete used to take some strolls. Down the rail tracks. Go on little mischief journeys, <laughs> adventures. just had a scare because uh, my backpack is on my back now but we were walking down by the water and I realized that I don't have my backpack and I wasn't sure if I left it in the car or just put it down somewhere with my lenses in it and uh, walked away because my brain is like a sieve sometimes but so we had to rush back to the car and it was here which was a relief my poor Cherise I think she's freezing and I think she, she had enough of my BS <laughs> for, for today. <laughs> but anyway, so we are still at a whopping wharf and this is gonna be like probably round 15 around this area. Uh, all the shopkeepers are probably thinking that Jesus Christ, these people are still here. We are on the other side of Spike Island, which is opposite to from the whopping wharf area. And this is a quite a nice place to go, calming place in the summertime. Uh, you get lots of water sport activity around this area, <laughs> as you can see. Yes, yes, as you can see. And the little cool fact about this um, water bit here is that years ago, now, I don't know, probably in the 50s, People used to swim in here. Bristol didn't really keep up the, the cleanliness of the water, so... And probably due to health and safety and all that good stuff, they stopped it. But yeah, I think... Um, I don't know, up until a certain point, they used to do jet skiing along here as well. They used to do all sorts. But, yeah, literally it's just due to health and safety. For me personally, these waters are too nasty to be letting that water splash upon me, but you know, each to their own. In 1804, work started on the floating harbour and the tidal River Avon was diverted into the New Cut. 
which is an artificial waterway built to send the river through the south and east Bristol. So, uh, yeah, there'll be times when you'll be here in the summer days or just whenever, and you'll see a boat, a ship come in, and it's quite cool when it's actually all in action and you can see the water levels right. uh, going uh, to a different level. Honestly, the... if you drop in now, goodbye, because <laughs> I ain't getting all wet and cold. <laughs> like that? That's it? <laughs> Damn right like that. You're, you're giving up on me? <laughs> so, as we walk along this part, you'll see the third and final um, level of the water is on the other side of the there's another gate a bit further down and that is how it looks from the air so where we're standing now is in between this platform and the first part of the picture was the higher level the lower middle level and now we're going to show you the lower level which leads out under the Clifton Suspension Bridge. And there's also a fancy looking cannon. Here. I wonder, I wonder what the good old Bristolians used to shoot at with the, <laughs> this fancy looking, uh, looks like a 120 mil or smooth bore cannon. I, I probably just shoot 